Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure LF terminal file manager and also enable image previews so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your terminal and you must have AUR enabled and in AUR helper installed. So for example I'm using Y so type Y-S LF dash bin and if you are using other distributions like Ubuntu then you can type sudo apt install lf so now as you can see lf is installed now to use lf terminal file manager you can just type lf on your terminal and it will open the lf file manager as you can see you can navigate using your arrow keys or your theme bindings such as h j k l h to go left l to go right j to go down and k to go up but as you can see by default you don't have any icons of folders or files and you can cannot also preview the image files in the terminal so we are going to enable that as well now press q to exit the lf file manager and then type sudo pacman s uberzug graphics magic and ghost script now these are the dependencies that are required for image previews in your lf file manager Now after installing those dependencies close your terminal and open your web browser and go to my github page of dot files it will be in the description box below or you can type github.com slash sky slash dot files now you don't need every single files from my dot files you don't you only need dot bash rc dot config and dot local folder so you can just download the zip file of my dot files and you can delete unnecessary files if you don't want it after that open another tab and search for nerd fonts and go to the first link which comes up and then click on download and download your favorite version of your font as a nerd font for now i'm just going to download Deja Vu Sans after that extract both fonts and your dot files zip file go to dot files folder and if you don't see any of these folders then press ctrl h on your keyboard to show hidden files and folders after that go to config folder and copy the lf folder and go to your home folder go to the dot config folder of your home folder and paste it there go to the dot files folder again and this time go to dot local folder and then go to bin folder and copy the lf ub file and then go to your home folder and then go to dot local folder inside your home folder now if you don't see bin folder then you have to create the bin folder manually and then go to the bin folder and paste the lfub file there now we have to make this lfub file executable so right click to open terminal in this folder and then type ch mode plus x and lfub now go to the dot files folder again and this time open dot bash rc folder now in this dot bash rc file you will see that 
you will see a section of LF icons now you need to copy these all LF icons and copy and put them in your dot bash RC file of your home folder so just copy and paste it now open dot bash RC of your dot files folder again and copy this export path is calls to line and then copy and paste it in your bash RC file of your home folder again also add this line alias space LF is equals to LF UB now all is left to do is install our nerd font so cop go to the extracted fonts folder and then copy the mono font version of the font and then go to your home folder and create a new folder called dot fonts and paste the font file there now open your respective terminal and change the terminal font to the nerd font which we just installed and if you are using terminals like alacrity and kitty then you can edit the config file to use the font which which is the nerd font just which we just installed now if you open lf this time you will see the icon previews of your folder and your files as you can see you can see the folder icon just beside the folder but our image preview is not working that's because we haven't made the lf contents of lf folder in dot config folder executable so we're just going to make everything in the lf folder executable right now so go to dot config folder of your home folder and then go to lf folder and then open terminal there and just type chmod plus x and then star this will make everything in the folder executable now now open another instance of your terminal and type lf this time you will see the image preview is working properly my pdf and doc file is preview is not working because i haven't installed any pdf previewers and libreoffice so if you install any pre pdf previewers then your pdf will also show previews and i have also set some default key bindings in the lfrc file if you don't like them you can also change your change the lfrc file to make them suit your needs so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more future content thank you